Hey guys, it's Benny here, and today we are going to be playing a game I actually haven't played in a while. Now, Uncharted 4 is my favorite game, but I haven't played it in a while. I haven't actually played any PlayStation 4 in a while. So, now there's a little bit that was skipped when I opened up this chapter, but it doesn't really matter. It's just me looking at paperwork, so. What we're doing in this episode is Chapter 4, A Normal Life. So, let's see what we have in store for this chapter. Climbed your big brother some years back. El Dorado. This was found in Uncharted 1. Yee. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. This, I forget what it is, but this was in Uncharted... Uncharted 1, I think? I forget if it's Uncharted 1... Two or three. I don't really remember. I think it's one, so. Oh, so my next um, series I'm going to start. Oh, yeah, this was Uncharted 1. But, um, I pre ordered Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which is a remastered version of the first three games, so. Be prepared to see that in a few weeks. Yes. This is Nate's journal. And on the back it says, Found this in my old camera. Thought you'd like to have it. E, which means Elena. It's Elena, Sully, and Drake. As we all know, we're playing as Drake. Nathan Drake. Now, this, I'm actually going to have a lot of background stories on all of these, and... Shambhala. <laughs> this is Uncharted 2. And the one I just found was Uncharted 3, so... Shambhala, that's Nate and Tenzin. And on the back says, Nate and Tenzin. I have played all three Uncharted games. I recently just sold my PS3, so I can't play them unless I buy the Nathan Drake collections, they but... This was in Shambhala. That's where you found it. This was before the fight with Slazarvich, or whatever his name is. I forget it, honestly. I'm sorry if my voice is weird. My mic is a crappy PlayStation 4 one for like $20, so. If you shake it, it glows, and if you shoot it, it explodes. Get a good rhyme, don't you think? So Francis and his elaborate puzzles. This was Uncharted 3. This was to solve a puzzle that took out through most, that took most of the game, believe it or not. This box is what we'll find later on in the game. You might recognize that jacket from it's earlier episodes. You might um, get this from earlier episodes, so this says, Factus Recipimus. I mean, I can't read that. I forget. <laughs> this you'll also find in a later episode. That you'll find in a later episode. Like, the next 10 to 20 episodes. While, but it's worth the wait. Now this was a crazy one. <laughs> this was Uncharted... Let's see... Mm. Uncharted 2. Chloe came in Uncharted 2, so... Nate! How's things? I've been up on my us usual shenanigans. Nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on the wine stocked. Caught wind of something that sounded right up our alley. You should... Should you ever change your mind, give me a yell. I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. Love, Chloe. Which came in Uncharted 2. So this is Uncharted 2. I love how when you shake it, like the paper shakes. So. Nice little detail. This was Uncharted. I'm trying to remember. One, I think. I don't remember all of these, but most of these are Uncharted yeah. 1 and 3. Not much Uncharted 2, but... 
This is actually something pretty funny. You're playing with a nerf gun. So. This is a way to get an achievement that I already earned. You start from this and you shoot that target. Bullseye. But if you hit it, you get a achievement. I mean, trophy. Sorry, I was thinking of Xbox. Now, if you get too low, I think Alana calls up to you, so... Bam. Bam. So we can't go low on ammo, guys. Like a pro. So long. But uh, in this chapter, there's a little nod to another series that Naughty Dog worked on, which I actually didn't know was made by Naughty Dog. That'll teach you. Um. See ya. For the longest time. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why, um, the, what's it called, aren't showing up, the subtitles. I don't know, but, I think it's in display? No. Game. Yep, subtitles on, game hints off. Okay. Now, photo mode is actually pretty fun. If you press L3 and R3, you could do that, and you could, like, pause whatever's going on and move around. But you can, like, mess around with it, and then you could take a picture and all that. Something pretty neat. Exit photo mode. But yeah, something that I'm just gonna leave on, so. <laughs> Still got it. Then if you go back to this, you can put the gun in the holster. Uh, no. time's over. Once you had the gun in the holster, sadly, <laughs> then you go down the hatch, which just means you're leaving the attic. Just figure it out, make it fun. Then there's a lot of like Easter eggs and secrets in this part that that if you don't explore you might miss. Like there's something for Nepal, which Nate and Chloe, I mean uh, Nate and Elena always want to go to. So find that neat. Either they went to it or they wanted to go to it. I forget. I think they want to go to Nepal in some of the games. Yeah, they talked about wanting to go to Nepal. So. Yeah, I recently I just turned off uh, photo mode, so wondered why the why I paused the game. That's why. But if you look at this, it's a book with a bunch of pictures. This is <laughs> Nate and Elena's wedding day. Wow! wow. Keep on going through. <laughs> This takes place around 10, 20 years after the last episode. I mean, the last just two doing? episodes, so. I love how this shakes. Wait, no, last episode I did the prison thing. There's a little Mac computer right there. Which, there's no tower for it, which is odd, but this is Elena's camera, a bunch of pictures. Been too long. So there's a bunch of, like, nostalgia in this game and everything, which brings you back to the last games as you saw from me like going through and everything so and there is like really old nostalgia which marks the beginning of Naughty Dog that's the hint I'm giving
I'll give you a hint. It's a TV game thing. <laughs> if you don't get that joke, then leave. Just, just leave the channel. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food and just? Okay, let me just get. Oh, no, no, let sure me just get a drink. There we go. Let's get some soda, cause beer's bad, mate. Something cool I realize is like you take drinks from time to time. It's like if you let, wait, you'll take drink. It's either if you wait or press triangle, I'm not sure. No, it's press triangle. Yeah, cause doing nothing then pressing triangle, so. Either that's just a coincidence. <laughs> but that's a lot of things you could do. As you can see, there's a PlayStation 1. With the PlayStation 1 controller. That's a little hint to the TV game thing. So for this, you need to pay attention, so. Finish it? Yeah. See ya. Oh. You know, it's... Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm-hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was a brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of so, it, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs like the second that you got off the plane or so. I kind of took this U-turn and the L was just like Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm -hmm. The article is about... Where's tourism in Bangkok? Flights in Bangkok. That, uh, tourism in Bangkok, so... We're having troubles, troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. land? Oh, wow. Right, I'm sorry. No, it was balanced. I was in the really ballpark, ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. Th it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't <sighs> seen him in, what, two years? Look, well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, you did on. them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. 
You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. Now here is one of the best things ever. I love this part. PlayStation 1 turns on. Nostalgic PlayStation 1 start screen. Sony Computer Entertainment. Then PlayStation. Always see this anytime I play Spyro or the game that this is about. And the game is Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, 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 just, uh, how do you, uh, how do you make, make it go? go. Start just button. Start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Use okay. Crash Bandicoot. So you and you can't use the analog stick. You have to play it like the original, which I love. Spin. You could jump on the crates. I was actually, this is the remaster. Like, I love the remaster. I was playing this at GameStop earlier when I was my PlayStation 3. So. Now, I don't think you could beat the high score in the beginning. It's a bandicoot. No, I missed a lump of fruit. Get all the crates. Get all the crates. Get all the checkpoints. Get all the lump of fruit that you can. It, it is a fruit, it's a lump of fruit. I'm really great at it. Get video oh yeah, I forgot if you pause it doesn't tell you how much crates you got. No, I don't think you could skip- yep, no, you can't skip this, so... Why is he stealing all this fruit? The foxes do not need fruit. He's not stealing his collection. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. <laughs> Nothing. Stay focused. Now this is the last life. Now I'm better at Crash Bandicoot th than oh, this, but... Yeah. Not bad, not bad. My favorite game is either Twin Sanity or Wrath of Cortex so far. It's gonna be one of the two. I never played the first, second, or third. But I have played the others. So. I played a mix of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Okay, That's the end, but. You're gonna see that I didn't get the high score, so. You're. It's impossible to beat it, but. What? what? Is that it? You'll see you later. You asked yeah. for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, Just keep talking. Mode. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? You. I'm warning In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. 
Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found... It, all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan, I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. <laughs> I wanna hear about you. Huh? <laughs> me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Now here's another choice. Now my favorite is probably Uncharted 2, so I'm gonna guess I explore Chambala. Okay. A few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe I, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? The name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. Girls, they're singing. 
Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... ...become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Mm. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmento aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Now, we get to play as Sam in Chapter 5, Hector Alcazar, but I'm gonna end the video off here because of length. So, make it a like button blue, get rid of the red color, and that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!